two, one. Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the snowstorm. I'd like to think we're on the backside of this. A couple more hours, got to be very cautious. It was a heavy storm. We got eight to 14 inches, depending on where you are, still coming down in places. Came down heavy in the middle of the night, two inches an hour. I'm told that's, that's a lot. I want to give a shout out to the members of the Department of Transportation and others. We had well over 700 snow plows out there. They've been going nonstop for 14 plus hours at this point. Um, thankfully, we did um, shut down um, for the big tractor trailers. We did that in association with New York. That made a difference. That kept the roads cleared. Thanks to each and every one of you. You limited travel as well. That allowed our snow plows to do the job they had to do. Um, bus service gets going again, I think, as, as soon as uh, noon today, and we're slowly getting ourselves back to this new normal. I just, again, want to thank uh, the folks at DOT and, and the folks driving the snow plows. Um, a lot of us could do this virtually. A lot of us could telecommute. A lot of us could stay at home. That was the right thing to do, and that allowed you to do your job. And also, a little shout out to Avangrid and Eversource. They were standing by um, and they were pre-positioned, really important. We've learned from uh, lessons past, and uh, there were very, very few electric outages, and that made a difference as well. We're keeping our shelters open for a, a little bit longer, given the cold weather protocol to keep you safe. With that, Max, any quick questions? Once again, we want to keep this to on topics regarding the winter storm response. We'll go to the Hartford Current. Once again, Please keep your hand raised and we will get to each of you. Hartford Current. Hey, Governor, this is Emily Brindley from The Current. Um, I'm having a little bit of Wi-Fi issues, so just let me know if you can't hear me. Um, but do you have any idea on whether the storm will delay any vaccinations? Uh, Emily, my understanding is not. We got all of the uh, vaccines uh, we needed for the hospitals over the last uh, couple of days. I believe they got to the nursing homes as well. So I don't think there should be any delays. If there were a couple of nurses and doctors who are hoping to get vaccinated, they're slow getting into the hospital. They are doing vaccinations as we speak. Thank you. Any other questions, please use the hand raise function using Microsoft Teams. I'll give it a, a few moments. We'll go to News 8, Jody Latina. Good morning, Governor. Have the hospitals indicated that they need help getting docs or nurses in, or are they all set? Uh, I have not heard any call for uh, help. I, I think they're all set, but we can get back to that, Jody. Thank you. Uh, one more follow up from the Hartford Current. Thanks, Max. I just wanted to ask, Governor, have you heard of any uh, any significant incidents uh, because of the storm, any big accidents or anything like that? Uh, very little at this point, Emily. Um, uh, some isolated incidents, but again, uh, keeping the tractor trailer trucks off, thanks to each and every one of you for not doing any driving unless it was absolutely essential. I think that kept the accidents to a, a bare minimum. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. We'll have an update on a future press conference later this afternoon. Thank you again.